वेलकम श्री सीतान्या टेक्नो स्कूल मधुरवाड़ा टू ब्रांच टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू नरेट अ ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी द टाइटल ऑफ द स्टोरी इज मर्चेंट ऑफ वेनिस वंस अपॉन अ टाइम देयर वाज अ मर्चेंट कॉल्ड एंटोनियो एंटोनियो वाज अ वेरी काइंड एंड जेनरस मैन ही हैड अ फ्रेंड नेम बेसानियो बेसानियो वाज अ वेरी हैंडसम एंड नोबल मैन ही वांटेड टू मैरी पोशिया Portia was a very beautiful and intelligent girl. Her father died, leaving her a large estate. In his will, he had written how her suitors should marry her. He had set three caskets: one of gold, one of silver, one of lead. On the gold casket, it is written, "You shall get what minimum desired to get." On the silver casket, it is written, "You shall get what you deserve to get." On the lead casket, it is written, "You shall give and has a everything you have." Portia's first suitor, Prince of Morocco, chose the gold casket. He opened the casket. Surprisingly, there was a card inside it. He read the card. In the card. It was glitter. This is not the correct casket. Everything that glitters is not gold. Her second suitor, Prince of Argon, chose the silver casket. He opened the casket. There was another card in it. He read the card. In the card, it was glitter. This is also not the correct casket. Sanyo wanted to try his luck with the caskets. For that. He needed to travel to Portia's palace, which is in Belmont. For traveling there, he needed three thousand ducats. But unfortunately, he had no money. So Bassanio went to Antonio. He asked Antonio for money, but unfortunately, Antonio's ships will return after three months. Antonio went to Shylock. Shylock was a very cruel money lender. He often hated Antonio because Antonio would lend money with no interest. So Shylock took it as chance and gave the money to Antonio at one strange condition. If Antonio doesn't give money in three months, Shylock would take one pound of Antonio's flesh. Antonio agreed to this condition because. The ships will return after three months from Africa. Shallow gave the money to Antonio. Antonio gave the money to Bassanio. Bassanio went to Belmont, and he chose the lead casket. He opened the casket, and there was another card in it. He read the card. In the card, it was written, "This is the correct casket. Congratulations! You can marry Portia." Bassanio and Portia married happily. Bassanio and Portia cared for Antonio as a member of their family. After three months, Antonio received the news that his ships were drowned in the sea. Antonio was very scared, and it already has passed three months. He has to give the money to Shylock. Suddenly, guards came and took Antonio to the court. There was Shylock waiting for him and demanding him for one pound of his flesh. Suddenly, a young lawyer came and told Antonio that he will fight for Antonio in this case. Antonio agreed. The young lawyer also agreed with Shylock, but he gave Shylock two conditions, and if he agreed these conditions, he could take Antonio's flesh. Those two conditions were: Shylock can take one pound of Antonio's flesh, but only one pound, not more, not less, and not even one blood drop should fall from Antonio's flesh, because that would be more than one pound. Shylock thought this was impossible and accepted his defeat. After that, Antonio received another news. That his ships were all coming safely from Africa, and he also 
had known knew that the young lawyer was none other than Portia. See how the story which had ended in a tragic has ended happily. The moral of the story is you should never trap others for money. If you trap others for money, you will only fall in the trap. Thank you for giving me this golden opportunity.